This is Officer David D. Brown of the Los Angeles Police Department. During my 24-year police career, I employed brutal and coercive methods at whim. It's a fascinating kind of psychological profile. No man who ever shoots and kills another man is entirely cogent in the moment. Did you learn that with the first man you killed? You really meet a, a cast of characters in this in this movie, which will be so memorable. I can prove that your shooting was dirty, just like I can prove you dirty. It's not about the scandal, the Rampart scandal, but it is about how scandalous Rampart is. You were a dirty cop with a dirty mind, and you dirtied all of us up by default. The pigeons have come home to roost. All the bad behavior that he's engaged in personally and professionally over the years has finally caught up with him, and everything is falling apart all at once on all fronts. I told her everything. Everything? He's a fellow just trying to figure it out, and, and he's losing. And he does it beautifully. That man drowns beautifully. The rules change. The laws change. The people change. They accommodate. They adapt, but not you. Why is that? It gets really difficult for him to back away from any kind of a situation. And we see him kind of break down. I'm just a cop. I'm a soldier. I'm dispensable. I hate you! Just the journey, one man's journey into paranoia and anxiety and, and retribution um, and the things that he's done coming back to Hong Kong. Listen, this is the most important thing I've told you so far. Everything you learned at the Academy. I read the script that Orrin gave to me, and I just thought, wow, that is a great script. That's probably the best part I've ever been offered. When it came down to this film, um, it was very clear that, you know, that he's, he's the guy to do it. For me, the appeal was in his humor and his charm his uh, ability to go dark really fast. What's the address? Tell me where it is, huh? I remember the day that I learned that, that Woody wanted to do the movie, um, and I called James Elroy, you're never gonna guess who wants to play Dave Brown. I said, Woody Harrelson, and he said, that's perfect. Woody Harrelson brings this to Dave, Dave Brown. A wild ass, extremely cocky sense of self. His sense of life being one big joke with him at the center of it. And he has the opportunity here to break down, crack up, strip away every level of that male ego. Every single thing you heard and more, it's all true. Can never change character for the ages you know if you just follow this guy the, the film could be a, such a strict point of view film where you're really with him all the time every scene is about him every scene is his interactions with other people and that's the kind of movie that really appeals to me is to go so deep into a character study what's your moniker date rape dave why is that Maybe I killed a bad guy, maybe I didn't. Either way, he got what he paid for and he'll never hurt another woman ever again. I don't think Dave Brown looks at uh, the kind of police work he does as, as bad. He doesn't look at himself as a bad cop. He really looks at it when he does violence to people, it's people who deserve it. severely beating a motorist named Shondell Parmalee in what civil rights groups are calling old school LAPD. He just becomes kind of a, a victim of his own excess. He's a good cop who has some really bad habits uh, and who's been pushed 
by the job, I think, over the line so many times. And I don't think he's evil, but he's certainly out of control.